One important thing when you study anatomy is that the, the body is not a template. The body develops, the body grows, and there are variations during take place during development. There are variations that take place because of the uh, sex, because of the race. So all of these should be kept in mind. When you, when you see a variation, it doesn't mean that it is abnormal, but it is unusual. Like, for example, most of the pictures that you will find in, in your textbooks or in, uh, in your uh, atlases, they usually refer to the, to the usual, usual condition or the usual appearance of a, a structure. Sometimes they refer to a variation, but the, the usual appearance of structure. You can see here, for example, in these four pictures of the mental foramen, you can see how the mental foramen varies from sometimes from one person to, to another. It's the same foramen, but here it is double. Here you can see that the nerve appears from, from this foramen and then re-enters into the bone. This foramen is a very big foramen. So it is the same foramen. This is not an abnormality. This is an anatomical variation. These anatomical variations should be kept in mind because sometimes they can produce symptoms. Like, for example, some people have an extra rib in the cervical region called cervical rib. And this rib might remain like dormant, silent for the entire life and might be only discovered during a routine x-ray. Uh, but otherwise, it is silent. Sometimes it produces signs and symptoms because of compression on the nerves and uh, vessels. Also, during surgery, you will be confronted with many of these variations and these should be kept in mind because some of these variations might, if they are, um, if they are not looked after, if they are not expected, then they might, might result in uh, complications after, during and after surgery.